Hey, welcome to Mikey's World. And I will be your host, Mikey. That's me. And today we're gonna be painting this old truck. So we're gonna take this truck from this to this. Take a few years off of its age, the way it looks. You know what I'm saying? Just like I do when I shave. And this is gonna be the process of how we do it. Stay tuned. A little bit of masking already happening. Grandpa's so fast at it. Again, I can't keep up my camera. There it is, masked off so far. Just a little bit of window. Engine bay. Windshield. Another window. Oh, look at that. The entire door. Super easy. Back window. Oh yeah, I can't forget the back side of this glass now, which we did. The wheels now, we put the trash bags on yonder. They fit perfect and tight. Now it's about time to put the old metal prep on there, make her shine all good real quick. Clean her up. I didn't forget about the bed now. Tail lights, they're masked out. Other than that, there's nothing else to mask on this thing. Except these, we put little zip ties on the little tailgate bars so they're out of the way, don't get go flailing. So since we finally accomplished our masking task, it's time to come over yonder way and start metal prepping. Grandpa's already got the whole bed done. Looks good all shiny with that metal prep. So this is the primer we decided to go to from Summit. It's just a direct metal high build primer. Nice, easy to sand. It puts it on thick with two C's. We're gonna go ahead and mix this old primer in a four to one mix ratio because it's easy on our heads. And for that, get these cool little buckets here and you just pick the one that says four to one and you dump in four parts of paint one part hardener and you're good to go. So we almost forgot about the hood on the dirt side over there, but we just brought it over, caught it up real quickly. And now we're gonna get back to mixing paint. Oh man, I'm making a mess. Don't forget to make a mess. If you don't make a mess, it's not gonna go right. <laughs> right. Now we give her some hardener. One part, right? Yep, and go over by a little. You give her a little extra? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna hurt us any, right? I think it's just gonna dry it out faster. Right. Just a little extra. There we go. Give her a stirring. Nice old bucket over here. Oh, man. Oh. It felt like it was gonna take forever and we were never gonna make it, but we finally made it to time to spray. Primer's going on, baby. Shine on it. I don't think the body work was too bad. Woo! 
Man, I can't believe it. Two full coats on the cab and the bed, as well as the hood over here. We're losing daylight though real quick. It's dark as hell out there, so that's gonna be a wrap for tonight. Let this stuff dry out. So look at that hood. I say them cab corners look super good with that primer on it. Hot diggity dog guys I always get so excited when I see something new on something we just worked on and I just showed up at the, the shop here and the, the primers all dried up grandpa came out early got some spot putty and some lows yep it's looking just great in my opinion check out that hood here's the bedside Grandpa got some spots he found he was unpleased with. He can't complain with wanting perfection. But let me tell you something wild. We did everything we could not to forget something. We almost forgot to bring the hood over here. And yet, we had our tailgate sitting on the bench over there and we thought we'd remember her, but we didn't. So we brought her over here on the back of the truck today. And you can tell this thing is as blue as it was before. We also came out here this morning and started sanding away and we got quite a bit of loads from not sanding good enough to start. Yep, that's all right. But it's also kind of why we got high build primers because the high build primer is way easier to sand because it's fresh paint than that old however long, however many coats of paint was because that was taking forever. Do you see these? Man, that's all those spots. We'll get them smoothed out. So we did a whole bunch of sand in there as you watched and I think it turned out pretty good. Now, we do have a few low spots. We failed at sanding properly from the start so we're biting it now and we'll make it through. We're using these cool old little Durablock five, six piece whatever kit, you know. It comes with some bunch of pieces, little skinnies, a little square, it has a little round one has one of these and then a little baby version of it they work great just about got everything sanded down by now and i'll tell you what i am tired of sanding don't worry though we got the hood set up in a good spot we won't forget the tailgate this time so once we feel comfortable when we're actually truly done sanding it'll be metal prepping time just like it did before primer we'll metal prep it again prime it again time to wipe her down
It's one of my favorite parts about painting a car right here is just wiping her down and getting that just flat to glossy instant look. Now the thing's wiped down, we got a clean surface. Let's mix up another bucket of paint and let's spray this bad boy once again. Man, we got a second coat on there. I was so busy holding the light for Grandpa that I didn't get no video. But we didn't miss the tailgate this time, so that's a great plus. And the hood just looks beautiful. Kind of impressed at how good those louvers look. Man, just as sleek as she could look for a home jobber. A little quick bedside. Mmm. Okay, it's finally the day I've been waiting for. I can't wait to see this blue go on. The primer dried overnight. We already gave her a good quick scuffing up and sanding so we can just get ready to it. Sanding is boring. And let me tell you this, me and Grandpa are talking and if you're not tired and hate sanding by the time you're done, you didn't do it right. That's for sure, okay? But anyways, we're about to mix up some blue. Spray her down. Well, I'm lying. We gotta wipe her down, clean her off, and then we'll get to mixing the bucket, spraying her down, all right? Woohoo, doggy, look at that color. I can't wait to see it sprayed on the truck. So this is the color we chose, electric blue. I don't know where Cody got it from, okay? So, yeah, that's the paint we're gonna use. Really nice, because it came with a kit, came with the hardener, came with a couple strainers, strainers, bunch of stir sticks, So this paint uses an eight to one ratio. So that means eight parts of paint, one part hardener. So we bring it over to our bucket here and we go to the eight one. And you know, I could be wrong on this cause I'm not no everyday painter, but I filled it up to the two. Okay, that's where I stopped. And then I filled up my hardener to the other two. I don't know, eight to one, eight parts paint, one part hardener. Have you ever held the flashlight for your dad while he works? Well, that's what I'm doing today. Just running around with this big old flashlight, which is just actually a fluorescent light. Got a first coat here, looking just snazzy as can be, like a guy in a tuxedo. Probably not that good, but you know what I'm saying. Look at that tailgate from what we started out as. Ooh, doggy. 
Yeah, pretty old hood. I really like the fins now. Louvers are what they're called. We got grandpa over here. He's spray testing. I need to get my dang mask on, but he's he's getting ready to go on coat number. This is technically three because we did two and one because the flash time is so fast you can come back. We had to just take a break before we did three. Here goes coat number three. I got my mask on. Can you guys hear me? Number two, complete. Or three, whatever number it was, you know. But there's a lot of paint on there, that's good. Look at this hood though. Yes, look, look. So we got this beautiful color on this truck today. It's drying out tonight, so that's gonna be the end of this video. There's no point in showing you sanding us, wet sanding this thing down and buffing it out. In this, I do a whole separate video. I don't know, I haven't completely thought about it yet. So if you enjoyed watching us paint this bad boy, I'm sure we'll paint another thing in the future. So please give me a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel because we're always doing something crazy like this and comment what we could have did better or different Whatever, you know Anyways, thanks for watching and stay motivated